Hello YouTube friends where are you? How are you? See you again, Mr. Barry Man Khan, from Eastern Indonesia. In this video, I will provide information, about the identification of one of the plants, which is around us, a unique and fascinating wild plant. Its name, Octopus Tree. However, before I continue, for YouTube friends, who have not subscribed, please subscribe to this channel first, so that my channel can develop and be useful. Go ahead, watch the video. The plant name is octopus tree. The botanical name is Schifflera actinophylla. The common name are star leaf, Australian umbrella tree, amate, ivy tree. Description: The octopus tree is a large evergreen tree known for its distinctive drooping leaves. These leaves have earned it the nicknames, Octopus Tree, and, Australian Umbrella Tree. It is native to the Queensland area of Australia. Its root system is aggressive, however, so it can become invasive and choke out other species. Name story, octopus tree. When you see this plant, you might be attracted by its peculiar shape. The tree has no central trunk and the whole tree looks like an inverted octopus. The branches can grow up to 15 meters, giving the appearance of giant antennae. According to the local historians and Tillamook tribal descendants, the unusual shape of the plant might be caused by the destruction of wind. It might also be man-made. It is because of this peculiar shape. This plant is called the octopus tree. Characteristics. Plant type. Tree. Lifespan. Perennial. Bloom time. Summer. Plant height. 6 to 20 meters. Spread. 4.5 to 6 meters. Flower size. 2.5 centimeters. Habitat. Wet forests. Conditions requirement. Sunlight. Full sun to partial sun. Hardiness. Minus 1. Hardiness zones, 10 to 12. Soil, sand, chalky, loam, well-drained, slightly acidic, neutral, slightly alkaline. Scientific classification. Genus. Schifflera, umbrella plants. Family. Aureliaceae, ivy, ginseng. Order. Apialis, carrots, ivies and allies. Class. Magnoliopsida. Dicotyledons, dicots, eudicots. Phylum. Tracheophyta, vascular plants, seed plants, ferns, tracheophytes. Care Guide. Water. Drought tolerant. Allow the soil to dry completely between watering. Fertilization. Fertilization once a month during the growing season. Pruning. Trim the dead, diseased, overgrown branches in winter. Planting time. Spring, autumn, winter. Harvest time. Winter, early spring, mid-spring, summer, mid-autumn, late autumn. Propagation. Sowing, cutting.
garden use. Octopus tree, Schifflera actinophila, is a broadleaf evergreen tree that is most commonly grown as a houseplant in temperate climates. In warmer climates, the tree grows much larger so it can be grown as a specimen tree in tropical gardens. The glossy green leaves and showy red flowers are its main ornamental appeal. Octopus tree pairs well with ficus, philodendron, and dracaena. How do you take care of octopus tree? Plants in the genus Schifflera are small, evergreen shrubs. They are strong, adaptable, and easy to care for, making them excellent indoor foliage plants. How big does an octopus tree grow? Octopus tree can grow up to 1.8 meters tall. Can you put a Schifflera plant outside? If you live in an appropriate zone, you can grow Schifflera outdoors year-round. Does Schifflera clean the air? Schifflera plants remove toxins like benzene, formaldehyde and toluene. Where is octopus tree native? It is native to tropical rainforests of Australia, as well as New Guinea and Java. Is octopus tree an evergreen plant? Octopus tree is an evergreen tree. What animal eats octopus tree? Its leaves are a favorite food of the Bennett's tree kangaroo. Why do the leaves of my variegated variety turn solid green? Try reducing the amount or frequency of fertilizers. Excessive fertilizer, especially fertilizer rich in nitrogen, can cause variegation to fade. Thus the information, about the identification of one of the plants, which are around us, a wild plant that is unique and fascinating. Its name, octopus tree. If it's still not clear, please leave a message in the comments column. Like and share if you like this video. Thank you for faithfully watching my video. Hopefully it's useful, and see you again, in the next video. Greetings from East Indonesia.